Vitality is our ability to have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bliss. Some call it paradise. We call it a game. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am of course your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about why black women should not be upset about the movie King Richard because they're starting to be a little backlash of some sort about the fact that King Richard is a movie about Venus and Serena's father and how he was instrumental in doing everything that he needed to do in order to help make them a success in the tennis world and all of the sacrifices that he made to make sure that they were successful in their lives as his daughters. And so I, for one, am really, really excited to see the movie. Will Smith is the lead. Um, and I like Will Smith's acting. I'm glad he was able to get um, a lead role despite Jada and her foolishness. Um, Cause I do really think that she'd be trying to sabotage him low key. Okay, but anyway, aside from that, like, okay, I'm glad for that. But we always got one that's acting a fool. But I'm not only going to focus on Miss Amanda Seals uh, or AKA a Mammy Seals. And shout out to Tori and Rain for that. Um, I'm going to read a little article, um, pretty short about something that she said, but then I have something else that's deeper because we're going to, we're just gonna cook about it. Hold on for one second. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Um, and then we're gonna read this article and then I'm gonna be back with my perspective here. Okay, so from the Atlantic Black Star said, I said what I wanna see. Amanda Seals hit back after facing harsh, back, harsh backlash for questioning Will Smith being cast as Venus and Serena Williams' father and King Richard. Actress Amanda Seals has found herself the topic of public fodder after questioning casting decisions for the upcoming film King Richard. The film chronicles the relentless pursuit Richard Williams, father to Venus and Serena, carried out for his daughter's success on the tennis court and beyond the city limits of Compton. Starring as the father is Will Smith. The movie's official trailer was released on Wednesday, July 28th, to raving reviews and predictions of this being the role to finally land Smith his first Oscar win. But of all the comments surrounding the upcoming film, the one that took off across social media came from Seals. The insecure cast member commented beneath a social post, Will Smith is playing Richard Williams. Also, why is the film about Richard Williams? Not surprisingly, Seals' comment was met, met with harsh backlash and even criticism for those claiming the actress is incapable of not making an issue about any and everything. Girl, always looking for something to complain about. I thought it was a dope idea. What's wrong with him playing Mr. Williams? From the look of the trailer, he did amazing. Sometimes she does too much. Some people felt as though the real issue with Seals was insinuating that an actor of darker skin tone should have been cast as a lead. That's kind of what I got too. I got that she wanted a darker skin guy and she didn't like the fact that the movie centered on a positive appearance of a black father. Anyway, says she has a point. When Zoe Saldana played Nina Simone, it was a huge controversy. Why not find a talented actor closer to the skin tone of the actual person, but maybe it's us being colorless. Sometimes it's about the name attached to the movie if it'll see the light of day. I wish this girl would focus on positivity sometimes and less on negativity. That light skin guilt always get her in her bag. Venus, Serena, and their sister Isha Prince, Isha Price, I'm sorry, each serve as executive producers for the film slated to hit theaters November 19th, leaving fans to assume that if Smith is good enough for them, then certainly he is good enough for moviegoers. Seals, however, was not willing to allow bandwagon bullying to sway her opinion. In response to the upset caused by her initial comment, she doubled back with, I said what I want to see. Y'all debating? I can not I can have my opinion and you can stand will. There is zero issue here other than the one y'all are making over some tone having a contrasting POV about a movie. Woo child, these internets. 
Regardless of the internet debate among social media users and SEALs, the overwhelming response to the trailer proved people are excited to see a black dad portrayed in a positive light. It all started with their dad. I for sure want to see how it all started. Black dads need to be celebrated. Okay. So we have a Mammy Seals trying to have some kind of problem with Will Smith playing Richard Williams. But here's the kicker box. Nobody had a problem when Kevin Hart was cast as a white man for that fatherhood movie when all of that white man did was raise his child after the mama died. He didn't do nothing special. Okay? And they cast Kevin Hart. They completely switched that story. Used a white man's story. Cast Kevin Hart as the father in that movie. And then was like, oh, that was an awesome movie. How, Sway? How, Sway? Nobody had a problem. But here is what I really want to talk about. Let's talk about who really keeps trying to keep this division up between black men and black women, right? Because we talk about the gender war. But see, we have to go a few layers deeper as to who stokes these fires when it's not, you know, blazing hot enough. Who stokes these fires? I'm going to show you a tweet. I'm going to show you a tweet. Now, this tweet is from a fitness white woman. The one above it, if you can see it. This is Dr. Jessica Taylor, whoever. I don't even know if she a real doctor. We going to question it. Okay, I'm going to question it. Did, she, did they seriously make a film called King Richard about the success of Serena and Venus Williams, but it's about their dad, Richard? Then she followed up because she got a little backlash from it, right? So then she followed up and said, I get this has annoyed people, but I genuinely didn't expect the film about two of the most powerful, successful, and amazing black female athletes to be named after a man or center a man. I would have loved this film to be all about them and not a man. That's it, really. Now, I highlighted it because I want you guys to see who's making these responses. Now, that was a white woman. So now the only people that's agreeing with her are, guess what? Other white women. This little sweetie person look white. I am having the same mental dilemma. I get she that he was instrumental, but ultimately Venus and Serena were, were or are the ones doing it. Then uh, this Mo jokes, this seemed like this might be a black person. So it sound like you aren't really a fan of the Williams sisters. If you were, you know why they produced a movie celebrating their father and how they appreciate the sacrifices he made to give his daughters a chance in a discriminatory sport. Of course, you would not understand that. So he put up a clip of an old interview with uh, his, uh, Venus, I believe, which I'm not going to play. But as we scroll down, the only people that are actually having an issue is white women. Contrera, whoever this is, say, yeah, in my review, I mentioned that, so you're not alone. It just feels like a bad time to do this. How is it a bad time to, anyway, it makes sense in the story why it's about him. It's also a really good biopic. However, it has clearly been plotted with a huge carve out for a Serena biopic to come later. And then we had a black woman, thank you, said, you are not in charge of how black people want to tell their stories. We don't have to run anything by you for your appro approval. If we adhere to your timing and views, the biopic would have centered around Rick Macy because we know y'all love a white savior film. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Let me stop sharing for a minute and let me go ahead and cook this situation. Because they be trying to bring division between Black men and black women. And I'm glad that the few um, responses that I saw that I believe to be from black people wasn't falling for the banana in the tailpipe. See, we have to be careful. And this is why Amanda Seals don't make no sense. And this is why, shout out again to Torian Rain, we call her a Mammy Seals because this is stupid. Because shouldn't no black woman have no problem with no film about King Richard when his daughter's whom the movie is also about, executive produced the film. 
So of course they approve of what the film depicted, how the film depicted them and their father. So who is these white women that come along? Well, I don't understand why it has to be sent to the uh, with a man. Nobody argues when white movies center around white men who are being celebrated for this, that, and the third. Whether it's raising his kids or building an empire, a business, or whatever it is that you want to celebrate. They, how many movies did they make about Steve Jobs celebrating him and his genius behind Apple? Nobody blinked an eyelash. When we talk about what white men are doing, nobody blinks. But with the one little time that we talk about a black man that's not adopting a white man's story like Kevin Hart did, we're talking about an actual black man who actually supported his daughters, who daughter, whose daughters went on to actually become some of the best tennis players of all time from Compton. Now, had this been a movie about single black mothers, nobody would be saying nothing. But see, we can't have a movie that is celebrating a black father positively. And we got to understand, ladies, who stokes these little fires? Who tries to keep these fires going with us and where this coming? This is a whole feminist. This is a whole white hyena. This is an albino hyena that we talking about. Okay? That's got something to say about how black people are telling their story, how Venus, Serena, and Isha want to tell the story about their father and how they want their father celebrated. For what? His sacrifices. Because without him, there would be no them. Period. Not only as a success successful athletes, but they would not have existed without his seed. Let's talk about that part. But nobody argues when other men of other ethnicities are celebrated for whatever achievement that they had a part of. So we have to start understanding where these gender wars, where is this stuff coming from? Who's fueling this type of stuff? And we have to stop paying attention to that, ladies. We have to stop buying into that again, falling for the banana in the tailpipe situation. Because you could see who had a problem with it, making a problem. She's trying to act like she care about the appearance value of black women. But where was where are these all these white women at when black women are twerking and making a fool out of themselves? publicly ruining their appearance value where's the concern for the uplifting and the empowerment of black women and uh, when when that's happening they only want to use intersectionality and black women to prove their little points and act like they care about the plight and the dilemma of black women on any level at all And they get on these little platforms and try to act like they caping for black women when really they it's a gaslight to try to get black women up in arms about something that we was not up in arms about. I for one want to see the film. I like it that they're celebrating. They had a hand and it didn't take somebody else to try to tell that man's story. They had a hand saying, listen, this is our father. We love our father and we're going to honor him and his sacrifices that he made to get us somewhere, to make us successful, to give us a better way out of a place where we weren't supposed to make it out. And you got these albino hyenas trying to run around and make a problem out of that. And then you got one that bit. Knock it off. We can no longer continue to act like we don't know where this stuff is coming from. And we cannot continue to fall for these divisions and these little divide and conquer tactics. It's time for the feminine black.
black women, black women that who have their eyes open, red pill black women to understand what we have to do in order to get ourselves back together so we can repair our families and ultimately repair our community. Because these people don't care nothing about you. These people don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about our kids. They don't care nothing about nothing that we doing. They like it that we squander around and squabble around with each other because it keeps us not moving forward. Anyway, sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.